Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. And today I'll be retouching an image, a full body image um, I did in studio. Let's look at the uh, settings real quick. Let me come here, where is it again? File info, good. So I was using a Sony A7 III as usual. I was using a 28 to 75 millimeter f2.8 lens. Um, I think I was at 2.8, no, I was at 35 millimeter at the time. Um, as you can see, my exposure right there, 5.6, because I want the entire image to be in focus, 200 for the ISO, because I want the background to be a little bit more white. All right, so let's get right to the editing. The image is not 100%, um, what do you call it, sharp, but it's still a good image. All right, so I'm going to start with duplicating the image. Oh, this is our first time doing a photo shoot as well. And guess what? Let me show you a really cool photo that I did with her um recently as well from the shoot um i'm just loading my instagram to show you guys all right so yeah this is it yeah that was a cool shoot that i did <laughs> yeah so it's her first time doing this sh um photo shoot thing and she did well um yeah so let's get right to the editing now so what i'm gonna do now is to press j on the keyboard for my uh what they call this brush again or this tool this is the, um, oh my, I totally forget what this tool is, patch tool. So I'm just going to get rid of all the blemishes from the skin and also the pimples real quick. I don't want this video to be too long. And um, yeah, um, I will not be sharing the raw images for, well, the raw image for this, um, what do you call it? image but if you want to get raw images you can go to my website well you can go to my instagram and there's a link right here on my instagram i don't know why this keeps happening every time i go to my instagram all right so you click on the link in my bio it takes you to my website you come right here where it says raw images and then you can download the action that i'm using currently um you can watch this video it teach you how to install the action um these three images that I'm giving you to download now, you cannot upload them to Instagram, but you can upload it to the group. You can join the group from the Facebook group right here. All these other images you can upload to Instagram and tag me in it. I have no problem with that. All right, so let me continue with the editing real quick. All right. So I'm going to come down. I don't have much um, blemishes to remove from her skin. So that's good. Yeah. That's it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean up the chair a little bit. Not the chair, the stool. I was painting my studio and I got paint all over the stool. So I'm just going to remove the, the some of the bigger paint spots. That's are going to be obvious in the image. I think this is a paint spot as well, I think. All right, I think I want to remove this one as well. And this one. Also the background, I'm just going to remove. Anything I see in the background I don't like. All right, so that is it for the um, cleaning up of the model skin and also for the, um, let me just do these small ones here for the stool. All right, so you all know that I love to crop my images, right? So I want to crop this image to the four to five ratio. Let me see. I'm gonna come over here to the crop tool and if I try to crop it now, what's gonna happen is going to um, crop out the foot of the chair and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is to create a copy. So I'm going to pull this down, create a duplicate, and then I'm going to put it back, go to the original, and then I'm going to go to the crop tool, ensure I'm at four to five ratio right here. So once I upload it to Instagram, it's the full size. I'm going to press enter. Then I'm going to come over here to the duplicate, go to the move tool, then I'm just going to drag it over, hold on and shift and let go. It's going to put it in the center of the image all right so i'm gonna add the canvas so i'm gonna press ctrl t and then hold on and shift well shift and alt and just bring it down to the middle like that 
maybe like that good then press enter now what i have to do now is to stretch the image i'm going to go here to the marquee tool so make a selection right here while it's selected i'm going to control t and then i'm going to hold on and shift and just drag this all right i'm going to do the same thing for over here control t hold on and shift and drag let me just okay all right so the image is not flat i'm gonna drag the line down this is the ruler line so you can drag the guide down if you do not have the ruler you have to click on the if you do not have the ruler you can press r and the ruler will line will come up i think yeah i think it's r so you can just bring this down to see if it's level all right so it's not leveled i'm gonna see if i can level it so i'm gonna control t for the entire um, image i'm gonna bring this up to like that okay so that's leveled i think so bring this up mm, it's not a hundred percent level but yeah that works all right so for right here all right so i'm gonna Control shift alt e to create a new layer i'm just gonna get rid of these you know what i'm just gonna get rid of everything all right i'm gonna create a new layer all right, so I'm going to clean up this section right here because I notice something is happening right there. So I'm going to go to the patch tool, just make a big selection, just move up. That fix it. Good. All right, so the next step now is to do some dodge and burning and also frequent separation. But I'm going to do frequent separation first. Again, you can download the action by using the link in the description or you can go to my Instagram, click on the link in the bio and go to raw images and you can see the link there as well so I'm gonna press ok i'm gonna come down here to the low layer i'm gonna press m on the keyboard for the mixer brush that's the shortcut i use for the mixer brush so if you hover over the mixer brush it says m you can create your shortcut by coming here edit and then you can go to all right sorry about that you can go to the um the brush section where is it where is it brush did i pass it yeah good so see i just put m for the mixer brush because that's the shortcut for me so that's what i want to use so m for the mixer brush and b for the brush so anyone i press it will come up all right so that's good all right so i'm on the mixer brush now and uh ensure that you clear the brush right there ensure that this is ticked and your wet is at two percent everything else remains the same all right hold on a message came in all right sorry i was reading a message very important message actually all right so i'm gonna go on to the mixing i'm gonna start with her leg for some reason i want to start with her with her leg well thigh so all i'm doing i'm just mixing i'm going the direction where i see the light that's all i'm doing Guys, I don't know. It's it's really easy to do dodge and burning, to do um, frequent separation. Trust me, it's really, really easy. If you've been watching my videos for a very long time, you should be really good at retouching now. Trust me, because I do the same thing over and over, different images, same process, and my images look the same. And that's what you want. You want to have consistency in your images. You don't want it to look different all the time so you want to do a same editing process same coloring process at all times so i'm done with the leg and thigh so i'm just gonna do before after good so i'm gonna come to the model's face now i'm gonna go to the model's face and i'm gonna do the same thing so i'm just gonna go here to the side all right all i'm doing is just brushing and using the mixer brush, what happens is that everything um, becomes one when you use the mixer brush. So if the skin is not even, it will even out the skin real quick and easy. So if you use the mixer brush and the skin is flat, you can always use some other tool like the dodge and burning to get back to dimension. All right, so I'm going to go to the high frequency layer. I'm going to press J on the keyboard for the patch tool. I want to get rid of some of these. So all I'm doing, I'm just selecting the area and move the the area I'd like to remove to a clean spot. 
So that looks good. I'm going to go back down here to the low layer and then I'm, the area that I just fixed, I'm just going to brush it so everything becomes one. All right, so I just, what I did just now was to brush the dark area. Oh, you know what? I wasn't on the, I wasn't on the mixer brush. I just noticed. Let me just bring this back here. I'm going to press M. I, I pressed B actually just now, so it didn't do it properly. Okay, so now I'm on the high frequency layer. So you have to be careful, guys. You have to watch what you're doing. So I'm going to go down to the low. I'm just going to mix it now. So I'm just going to mix everything together. All right, that looks okay to me. Uh, let me look at it before and after. Mm, all right, it looks good. All right, so the next step now is to do some dodge and burning. So I'm going to use this dodge and burn um, layer right here because I could do dodge and burn on this layer. So what I'm going to do now is to come over here and press this so the foreground is black. And black is basically going to give you the darker area. So I'm going to press B on the keyboard. I'm going to ensure that my flow is at 1%. And then I'm just going to zoom the image in some more, like around there. Then I'm going to get my brush smaller by using a bracket on the keyboard. And all I'm going to do is to brush the sides. So it's always good to watch the makeup artist while they're working. So you can have an understanding of what section of the image should have, should be dark and what section should be light. So I think I add too much just now. Don't want to add too much. So with that little knowledge, you'll know how to retouch properly. So I'm going to press X to change it to white. And then I'm just going to do the nose bridge. See before and after. OK, good. So I'm going to do the chin. Do the cheek. All right, not sure if I'm adding too much. I think, uh, what's happening right here? Let me just add some black. So I'm gonna press X again and add some more black right here to shape the face. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna come back down here to the high frequency layer and press J on the keyboard. I'm gonna try to even out down here. All right, so that's not working. Just gonna go down to the low frequency layer and press M on the keyboard. You can always use the mixer brush to you know blend out things. So if something if you if you did something and it doesn't look um, good, you blend it out. Alright, so I don't like what I did just now, so I'm gonna undo that. As a matter of fact, here is too dark. I'm not sure if I like it. I'm just gonna delete this. Let me bring it back and see. Yeah, it's too much. I think I did too much just now, so I'm just going to do it again. Sorry, press the wrong thing. I'm gonna press back. Dodge and burn again. And I'm going to do the same thing over. So I'm going to press B on the keyboard. I'm on the black right now. So I'm just going to do the sides. It's going to do right there, right there. Then I'm going to change this to white by pressing X. All right, that looks good. All right, I think I'm okay with that. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I'm liking what's happening right here. Oh boy. Um, let me just change this to black and paint it in black. Because here is dark. It's going to add some darkness here as well. Not too much. That's it. I'm not going to add anything more to the face. That's it. I'm going to just whiten the eye a little bit, the eyes. So I'm going to click on the eye and teeth. Then I'm going to press B. And the, well, I'm already on the brush. So I'm just going to bring this up to about 48%. Then I'm going to get this smaller and just paint the eye. Good. So that's done. 
All right, so the next step now is to do some more dodge and burn on the skin. So I'm going to come back down here to the same dodge and burn layer. It is not a good idea, it's not a good practice to use the same dodge and burn layer. Because if you make a mistake and you delete it, everything is going to go. So you know what, I'm not going to use the same dodge and burn layer. I mean, I could use it, but I'm not going to use it. Because I'm comfortable with what I've done. So I'm going to press B on the keyboard again, ensure that I'm on the brush at 1%. Uh, and then I'm going to brush the highlighted areas real quick hold on trying to get my brush bigger all right so i'm on the i'm on the um the the dark layer now so i'm just gonna do the dark section not the dark layer i'm on the dark the foreground is dark so i have to do the dark area see that i'm already on the dark um foreground let's do that so i'm gonna press x to go to the white which is the lighted area All right, that's that. Let's look at the before and after for that. Before, after, good. So I am done with that portion. I'm gonna Control Shift Alt E to create a new layer. Control J to duplicate the new layer. And then I'm gonna come to Camera Raw by going to Filter, Camera Raw. I'm gonna press Enter and see what that looks like. Uh, nah, I'm gonna bring up the whites a little bit for the background. Just a little bit like that, good. I'm gonna come over here to the collaboration tab and then I'm gonna adjust the primary colors. Let's put some warmth in her skin, as you can see. And then I'm gonna come over here to the basic and then I'm gonna do some dehaze. Just a little bit of dehaze, good. Then texture, just a little bit of texture. And then shadows, a little bit of shadow, good. So that is it. I don't think to, I don't think I need to do anything else um, for that. So that is it for the image. Let me create a group. So that's the before. That's the after. Well, this is the before before I clean up the skin, <laughs> and that's the after. So oh, I could do a before and after using this. Let me do. vertical up oh, good so this is the before over this side before the clean up on anything and this is the after so that's a quick edit in photoshop hope you guys enjoyed um this video and stay tuned for more videos thank you guys for watching and bye bye